I decided that since this is a lip product video to actually put a lip color on to be festive. So just in case you're wondering, I'm wearing Bite Beauty Matte Lip Crayon in Licorice. What's up guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be doing part two of my ginormous lip product declutter. Now if you have not yet seen part one of this declutter, I will link it down below and I'll also put it somewhere on the screen so you can check it out before you watch today's video. Hopefully this is going to be part two and the last and final part, but I may have to do a part three. We'll see how today goes. But for today, the game plan is gonna be the exact same as the last time. I'm basically just gonna be going through all of my little lip product bins and I'm going to be getting rid of a lot of lip products. I asked you guys in part one to give me any feedback that you had and a lot of you guys were saying to stop getting rid of the same lip colors because I'm just gonna basically be left with nudes and orangey reds, which I have to completely agree. So that is definitely something that I'm gonna keep in mind for today's declutter. So I hope you guys are excited. Don't forget to once again, let me know any feedback that you have or just comments or just, you know, come say hi in the comments. You guys know I love always hearing what you guys have to say. Also give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy declutters and of course subscribe if you want to join the fam. So without further ado, let's get started. So if you've not seen part one of the declutter, just to sort of recap what I do, I'm going to be splitting up the lip products in three different categories. What I'm keeping, what I'm giving away to friends and family, what I'm donating, and then a trash pile over here. Okay, so we're first gonna start off with MAC lipsticks. Now, I personally love MAC lipsticks to death. I mean, they're classics. Who doesn't like a good MAC lipstick? The problem with MAC lipsticks for me is that they all have the exact same packaging, so they all pretty much look exactly the same. For me to use a lip product in particular more consistently, I find that I have to see what the color is through the packaging, and I find that I'm more likely to actually gravitate towards it. So I did a a little bit of research and I ended up finding these clear lipstick covers on Amazon from the brand by Allegory. I got on Amazon Prime, I got it the next day, it was awesome and they're basically just clear MAC lipstick covers. So I'm going to be replacing all of the covers of the MAC lipsticks that I'm gonna be keeping with these clear ones so that I'll be able to more clearly identify them. This is freaking genius and I'm so excited that I'm now gonna have this awesome system. So um, it's just gonna make finding the lip color that I want so much easier. So I will definitely be linking these below. First order of business, I'm just going to very quickly grab all of these. These are all packaged and obviously unopened, so they're perfect candidates for donating. These are just lip products from the Oh Sweetie Lip Color Collection. I'm also gonna be donating these two lip glosses as well because I know I've never used them and they're just not really colors that I would normally gravitate towards anyway. So let's go through the actual bullets. Any metallic lip color that looks like this, I'm going to be getting rid of. This is gel, it's never been used, so I'm going to donate it. This color is called A Girl's Got Needs, another color that I normally wouldn't really wear. It's sort of like a strange brown. I'm going to get rid of this one, donate it. This is a bright blue called A Dream Pot, another color that I just normally wouldn't wear, so I'm going to donate that. This color over here is probably one of my all-time favorite MAC lipstick colors. It's called Creme de Nude. It is a absolutely stunning, very, very creamy, neutrally peachy, nude. I love this shade, so I'm gonna be keeping it. So we are going to replace the cap on this guy. Oh my God, this is awesome. Yes, I love this. I actually randomly picked up two of the same lip colors over here. This is D for danger, so obviously I, I only need to keep one. This one is unused. This one is used, so I'm obviously gonna keep the used one. This is another one of my favorite MAC lipstick colors. It's, this is such a pretty like berry red shade. Okay, next up we have M. Mm. <laughs> it's literally just a lot of M's and then uh, Whirl. Whirl is a really beautiful color. I do know that I have two of these, one that's actually used, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this one in my um, giving to friends and family bin because I do know a lot of people who will like both of these colors. I'm not gonna keep either of them. This is actually a really pretty color. It's called Sin and it's like a really dark, deep brown shade. Ooh, I really, really like that a lot. I think I'm gonna keep this one. Okay, I found my used whirl, so I'm going to keep this one, just replace the cap. I'm gonna swatch this one for you guys so you can actually see what it looks like. It's a really, really nice nude. It's like a deep, dark nude, it's so pretty. Okay, Morage is another one of my all-time favorite MAC shades. This is like the most amazing bright orange shade. Like if you are looking for just a pure bright orange, Morange is going to be your guy. So obviously gonna be keeping this one. Then we have Spirit, which actually sort of looks pretty similar to Whirl. It's just a little bit lighter, but look at how similar those two shades are. Um, so I'm not going to keep Spirit. I'm gonna give this one away. I'm gonna put it in my friends and family bin. Then we have Kukni. I'm not really sure if that's how you say it, but it's a bright red shade. I'm gonna get rid of this one because there's so many other MAC red shades that I just like so much more. So I'm gonna give this one to, I'm 
my donate bin since I've never used it. Bronze shimmer, this is like my lipstick nightmare. I really, really dislike lip colors like this, so I'm gonna give this one away. This shade over here is Captive. I used to be obsessed with this color. It's a beautiful berry pink. I'm totally gonna be keeping this one. I actually used to use this color quite a bit in my makeup freelance kit. A lot of clients used to love that shade. Okay, this one is Impassioned. Believe it or not, this used to actually be one of my go-to shades when I was like 16. I used to love really bright corals. This isn't really a shade that I love so much. I actually find it makes my teeth look a little bit yellow. This one is unused, so I'm going to donate it. By the way, if you are wondering why I have so many unused MAC lipsticks, it's not because I buy them and don't use them. It's because at one point I did get quite a large PR box um, full of MAC lipsticks and I just hadn't gotten a chance to use all of the ones that were sent to me, but that is mainly why there are so many here that that are unused in case you're wondering. This is the shade Relentlessly Red. It's a pretty like pinky red, nothing too crazy special. I'm going to get rid of it. Then we have Derriere, which is just like pretty much a pure brown shade. What an ironic name for a brown <laughs> lipstick. By the way, if you didn't know what Derriere meant, it means like behind. So your butt. I'm five years old. Lady Danger is probably one of my favorite reds from MAC. This is a beautiful bright orangey red. You guys obviously know from my last <laughs> lipstick declutter that bright orangey reds are my jam, and I'm sorry, but I'm gonna be keeping yet another one because this one is just such a classic. Easy Babe, this is a very interesting cool tone brown. I actually sort of like that color. I don't really have a lot of cool toned nude shades, so I wanna make sure that I still have some in my collections. I'm gonna keep this one. I think it's a really nice color. Instigator is a deep dark purple shade. I'm gonna be giving this one away. Uh, I don't really love deep dark shades in bullet form. This is called Dare You and it's a very pretty red. Let's swatch it. Ooh, I like that. I don't know, I'm not totally sold and because I'm not like in love with it, I'm just gonna get rid of it. Antique Velvet, ooh, this is a really cool color. This is sort of just like a really dark brown shade. Oh my God, I love that. So I have two pinky nudes from the Nicki Minaj collection. I have Nicki's nude and then pink print. I actually really like both of these nudes, so I'm gonna be keeping both of them. This is called The Right Note. It's just another nude lipstick. I just don't need another nude lipstick. I'm gonna be getting rid of that one. This is taupe. This is so not a taupe shade. It's really like a warm brown. Ooh, that's actually beautiful. I'm gonna be keeping that one. Next up, we have Candy Yum Yum. This is a classic matte color. It's a bright ass pink. Like this is as bright as you can get. Just not a shade that I really will ever wear, so I'm gonna give that one away. This little guy is Ruby Woo. And I'm definitely gonna be keeping this one because this is a very classic like red shade and it's also a classic matte color. Diva is yet another classic matte shade that I used to wear so much, especially when I was younger. I feel like when I was younger, I was so much more adventurous with my lip colors. This is such a pretty purpley red. Here we have Stripped. This is such a great sort of like yellow based, neutral-ish type of nude. I really like this shade. I'm definitely gonna be keeping it. I have two lip glasses over here. This one is from Patrick Star. It's the Mama Star lip gloss and then I have this guy over here in the shade Take Top, I think it's called. Fiery, multi-dimensional gloss, but still not something that I really see myself wearing. So I'm gonna donate this one and I'm gonna keep the Patrick Star gloss because it's actually quite a pretty color. There it is, swatch. It's very opaque as well. Vegas Volt. This is actually a really beautiful color. This is sort of like a retro dusty coral. Such an interesting color. Definitely a little bit more on the unique side, so I'm gonna be keeping it. Plum Dandy is another metallic. Gonna be getting rid of it. Lavender Jade, really bright purple. These colors look really terrible on me, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. Really Me is another like cool tone nude. I just don't need it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Stone is a really cool color. This is a very cool toned, almost gray brown. Super interesting, definitely gonna be keeping it because I don't really have anything else like it. Then we have Flat Out Fabulous. This is a pretty like fuchsia berry. Um, I'm not gonna keep it because it's sort of similar-ish to Rebel. I didn't pick that one out yet, but I know I have it and I'm gonna be keeping it, so I'm just gonna get rid of this one. Ooh, I really like Twig. It's such a pretty warm brown. Oh yeah, definitely gonna be keeping that one. This is called 2N, it's practically almost white. I, no. <laughs> this is the shade Heroin, another classic MAC shade. It's like a bright purple. It's really pretty, but these types of purples just don't look so good on me, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Then we actually have two collab lipsticks here. We have uh, the Nina Secrets lipstick, which is this nude shade over here. I'm gonna swatch it. It's actually a really pretty like pink based brownie nude. I'm gonna keep this one. We have Neiman Tang's color, which is this really pretty red. 
I have worn this one before. It's actually a really nice bright red, but I do want to see what it looks like compared to the other bright reds that I'm keeping because I don't want to keep ones that are too similar to one another. So this is D for Danger, a little bit more of a berry. And then Ruby Woo, super, super similar. I feel like because the shade is so similar to Ruby Woo, I don't really need to keep it. So I'm going to be donating that one to a friend. This guy over here is called About Town and it is another like pinkish fuchsia color. Nah, no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep this one. This is another collab lipstick from the Patricia Bright And this is a pretty much like a pure brown shade. I don't really have any pure brown shade So I'm gonna be keeping this one Japanese maple. This is actually a really gorgeous very very light nude This is a layering lipstick for me I would never wear it on its own because it's so so light But putting this in the center of any other nude lipstick sort of just highlights it and gives it a really nice dimensional effect So I'm gonna be keeping this one Rebel, yes. This is such a classic 15-year-old Jamie color. Love this color. It's sort of like a berry purple, so I'm going to be keeping it. I believe this color was limited edition. It's called Babe Town, but it's one of the most amazing pinky nudes. Like, it's literally my perfect tone, my perfect everything. If I were to create a pinky nude, it would look exactly like this one, so I'm definitely going to be keeping this guy. C Sheer. Oh, Oh my God, in a luster formula. So it's a little bit on the sheer side, but it looks like it's buildable and it's such a beautiful warm coral. This would be such a great everyday type of lip color. I cannot wait to wear this guy. Darling Clementine. This is probably the first orangey red color that I'm not gonna be keeping just because this is so similar to more orange. I don't need both. We are finally done, you guys. I'm so happy with these clear caps. It's gonna make it so much easier for me to find the MAC lipsticks that I'm looking for. These are so awesome. And I feel like I got rid of definitely a good amount. Perfect, all done. All right, next up we have my beautiful Marc Jacobs lip products. This one is probably gonna be next to impossible for me to declutter because Marc Jacobs lip products are some of my favorite favorite lip products and favorite formulas. So this should be interesting, but I'm gonna try my best. This one I know I'm not really gonna use. This was actually a limited edition gloss from their holiday collection, I believe. It's in the shade uh, Shine a Light. I have used this one before, so I can't donate it. I will definitely be giving this probably to my mom. She really loves gold glosses, so this will go to a better home. If you are curious, the lip glosses from Marc Jacobs are probably some of my favorite lip glosses. They are so cushiony, comfortable to wear. They are really high shine and just beautiful, beautiful glosses. I would definitely highly recommend them. These guys are the lip gloss sticks. So as you can see, it is in a stick form, so they do go on like a lipstick, but they have a very sheer finish and they're also very shiny like a gloss. So it's sort of like that perfect in between. It's a really beautiful formula. There are shades here, however, that I don't really wear. Like this guy is called Black Cherry Baby. Just a really dark brown, just really not my favorite type of color, especially for a sheer formula. So I'm gonna give this one away. This one, however, is beautiful. This one is in the shade Moco Chocolata. Probably one of my favorite colors from the collection. It's just a really pretty nude. See how glossy that is? Such a beautiful formula. This one's called Mauve Time. It's very similar to Moco Chocolata. So I'm gonna give this one away. It's just not one of my favorite colors. This is a lot easier than I actually thought. This shade is called Aha uh -huh Honey and it's pretty much like a golden brown. Not really my, my cup of tea. I'm gonna give that one away. Then we have a bright pink here called Sweet Escape. This one is actually really pretty. I'm gonna keep this one. Next up, let's talk about the Marc Jacobs glasses. Like I said, I love these. The nudes are obviously also some of my favorites, but I can't keep all of these because some of these have actually expired. This guy over here, Sugar Sugar, and this guy called Moon Glow. It's so strange. The Moon Glow shade doesn't even look like this. It's almost like it completely lost all of its color. It looks almost white in the tube, and that's not what it looks like when you buy it fresh. Sugar Sugar also is very, very old. I've had this for at least four years. I've used it to death. It's one of my favorite nudes from the collection, but they're just gross, so I'm gonna actually get rid of these. These two shades, however, I am going to keep. They're so beautiful. This one is called Skin Deep, and it's a beautiful mid-tone nude. And then we have Pretty Thing, which is probably my favorite, favorite nude from the whole entire collection because it, it's just that perfect tone and I love the peachiness in it. I think it's really flattering, so I'm gonna be keeping that one as well. Next up, we have Corals and Pinks. We've got Uproar, Forbidden Fruit, Some Girls. 
I sort of want to keep all three of them, but these two are so similar to one another. I really don't need to keep both. So they look pretty much identical. Like they're literally the exact same color. I'm going to keep Uproar though, because it does have that sparkle. So it's going to give the lips a little bit more dimension. Whereas Forbidden Fruit is just sort of a plain cream lip gloss. French Tickler is another one of my favorite glosses from the collection. It's sort of that perfect in between, between a coral and a nude. It is, however, just as old as these two guys over here. So I'm going to have to get rid of it in the trash it goes. This guy is called Cream and Sugar and it's almost like just a clear lip gloss with like a gold shift and a lot of shimmer. It's a perfect topper gloss. This is going to look good on top of pretty much everything. I'm definitely going to be keeping this lip gloss stick in the shade Preach. This is going to be such a great shade for the spring and summer. Okay, now let's talk Marc Jacobs lipstick. So I have two, three here. I love the formula of these. This one is called Sonic Truth. It's a great pinky nude. I know I have a million of these, but I love it. So I'm going to be keeping it. This guy was limited edition called Perfect. It's another nude. I'm going to get rid of this one. It's never been used, so it's going to be a great opportunity to donate it. And then we have True, which is very, 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 very similar to Sonic Truth. They're almost exactly the same. So I'm going to give this one away to friends and family. These over here are the liquid lipstick products from Marc Jacobs. These are like the liquid liquid lipsticks, which look like this. And then there are the stick liquid lipsticks, which are these guys over here. I actually really love the stick liquid lipsticks. They are such a unique formula. They're very, very matte, but not drying at all. So I am going to keep the sticks, but I'm actually going to be getting rid of the liquids. They're really nice. There's nothing wrong with them. I just don't ever really reach for them. So it's no use in me keeping. That is it. That's it for the Marc Jacobs. Let's move on to some YSL. Bin. Okay, this little bin over here contains a lot of my luxury lipsticks. So I think I have YSL in here, Armani, and I'm not really sure what else. I guess we'll find out as we go through it. Okay, so first up, we actually have a Laura Mercier one here. This is the Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick in the shade Havana. I actually really enjoy this lipstick formula. It's very matte, but it's not too drying. And even though I, I've stated that I don't really love these types of like bright fuchsia pink colors, I actually find this one to be pretty flattering, so I'm gonna keep it. Okay, let's sort through these YSL lipsticks. First one is in the shade number 10. This is such a classic. I remember picking this one up because Samantha would rave about this all the time. This was like one of her favorite pinky nudes, and it is such a beautiful pinky nude lipstick. I'm going to keep this one. It's such a great color. Then we have number 70, which is a bit of like a warmer, warmer nude. So, so similar to number 10. Too similar, so I'm going to get rid of it. Look at that went away. Then we have 211. I believe this is a matte shade. It's actually a really pretty color. I'm going to keep this one. This guy over here is number 09. It's just a really dark, like pinky, mauvey nude. I'm going to get rid of this one. These are the YSL Tattoo Liquid Lipsticks. They are actually really pretty. This color is stunning. It's in the shade number two. Um, I don't know why I have two of the same color. The formula is really interesting. It's sort of like a buildable liquid lipstick stain type of formula. This color is beautiful. So I'm going to be keeping one and I'm going to be getting rid of the other. Another YSL lipstick in 203. It's a bright red. I'm going to give this one away. This is another one of the Tattoo Liquid Lipsticks in shade 103. It's a really interesting color. It's sort of like a, whoa. It's like a really, really, really warm brown, but it does have a bit of a metallic sheen to it. You guys know I'm not a fan of anything really metallic, so I'm going to get rid of it. So these guys with the little window are called the Vinyl Creams. It's a very interesting formula. They go on, again, sort of like a mix between a liquid lipstick and a stain. So you could easily build them up on your lips um, to be either like a nice wash of color or they could be a little bit more intense. They have the lasting power of a liquid lipstick, but they're not matte. They do have a really pretty glossy finish to them. So it's actually quite a unique formula. So let's go through the colors here. This is 412, which looks like a nice little pink. That's a pretty color. Um, it's nothing too crazy special. I'm gonna get rid of it. This one is in the shade 408. Ooh, this is a really pretty orangey red. I, I think I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This one is in the shade 401. This is more of like a deeper red. I'm gonna get rid of this one. In this type of formula, this isn't really a shade that I would go for. This guy is number 49. It's a very, very, very pretty like deep fuchsia. This is such a perfect fuchsia color because it's bright without being too bright. So I'm gonna be keeping this guy. This one is number 11. 
Ooh, this is more of like a warm raspberry shade. They are quite similar. This one's a little bit warmer than the last one that I swatched, but that undertone makes the biggest difference in the world and I do feel like I wanna keep both. This is a nice little nude color. Believe it or not, I'm going to get rid of this one. Next up, we have some Givenchy lipsticks. I'm going to get rid of both of these, even though I do want to appreciate the design and packaging of both of these lipsticks. They're quite beautiful. That marble effect is something to be admired for sure. They're just, again, not lipsticks that I really would ever reach for, but they're, they're pretty. They're definitely really pretty. Okay, these guys I absolutely love. They are pretty much my ideal lipstick at the moment. They are very, very sheer and very glossy and that's all you need to know about them. So these are called the Rouge Volupte Shine. I'll swatch one so that you can get an idea of what they look like. So you can see they're pretty buildable. You can have one little swipe and it gives a wash of color, but then you could build it up to be sort of like a medium coverage lip product, but it has like the most amazing shine and glossiness to it. Okay, I just wanna show you guys quickly. I just tried to wash off all of the lip swatches on my hand, but all of these guys, as you can see, stained my hand like crazy. These stains are so long wearing. Once they completely fade off, you're still left with this like color. I have two of these Armani liquid lipsticks in 400 and 500. I'm just gonna get rid of these. I don't love liquid lipsticks and I've never used them, so it's a great opportunity to donate them. These are the Armani Ecstasy Shine Lipsticks. They're actually quite similar to the Shine Lipsticks from YSL. They're also very, very sheer and just have a nice wash of color. I do really like these. Actually, I sort of forgot about them to be honest with you. This is shade number 300. It's a beautiful orangey color. I'm gonna be keeping it. This is 500, a bit more of like a brighter coral. So pretty as well. 506, which is a bit more of like a darker berry shade. I think I'm actually going to, ooh, no, I actually really like that one. I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> then we have 300, which is a brighter orangey shade. Okay, it's so, so similar to the first one here. I don't need both, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. Ooh, forgot about this little lipstick from YSL. This is in the shade uh, 01. It just looks like a classic red. I'm gonna declutter it. These are three liquid lipsticks from Dior. I actually completely regret buying these. I'm not really sure why I bought them. I think I actually wanted to do a complete review on them, but I just never got around to doing them. I actually just don't really love the formula of these, so I'm going to be decluttering all three of them. These are the YSL Volute Liquid Color Bombs, and they are pretty much like lip glosses, but without the stickiness. And they're also fairly sheer. So that's what like a swatch of a pretty bright shade looks like. This one over here is number five. I'm not gonna keep this one because it is so similar to some of the other guys that I have over here. It's just not necessary for me to keep both. This one is number eight and it's a little bit of like a brighter pink. Actually a really, really pretty color. I'm gonna keep this one. This guy is number one. It actually doesn't even really have color to it. Every time I wear it, it sort of just makes it look like my lips have no color to them. It's just not very flattering. So I'm going to get rid of this one. This guy over here is actually a different formula. This is the Tintin Oil. So this is like an oil-based lip color. So it's very, very hydrating, very glossy. I, I very much enjoy this formula. It doesn't really have that much color to it. It's very sheer, but it's a great everyday type of lip color if you just wanna throw something on that's super glossy, very hydrating, has a little bit of color. So I'm gonna keep this guy. Let's talk Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I think that they are nice. They're not amazing. I don't think they're totally worth their higher price tag. They're pretty. They're just not like incredible, mind-blowing types of lip products. Um, I have three here. One is Penelope Pink, which is another nude shade. I think I'm just gonna give this one away. I mean, how many colors look exactly like that? This one over here is called The Queen, and this is like a pinkish red. I think I'm also just gonna get rid of this one as well. And then we have Love Bite, which is a really pretty red. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one because how many orangey reds do I have? Probably way too many and I don't think I need another one. Very, very random glosses here. I have one from Dior in the shade 343. It's just like a peachy pink. It's really pretty. I'm going to be keeping that one. This one from Becca is one of my favorites. I love, love, love the glow glosses from Becca. I think that the formula is so beautiful. This one is in the shade Champagne Dream X Bellini. It's pretty much just like a really, really intense, like golden type of lip topper. This is just like one of those colors that you could put on top of any nude lipstick to just amplify it. I'm gonna be getting rid of both of these guys. This guy over here is actually from Beauty Counter. I feel like this is a very underrated brand. There are so many great products from this brand, this lip gloss being one of them. It's in the shade Sunshine, and it's pretty much just a clear 
golden gloss, but it's a golden gloss without being too gold and it has like the most amazing shimmer and sparkle to it. Okay, let's go through these Tom Ford lipsticks. Are they worth it? These are so incredibly expensive. I actually bought these purely for a video review. There's so many other lip products out there that have a very, very, very comparable formula that is not as pricey as Tom Ford lipstick. So let's go through it. Um, I have a few here that I actually do remember really enjoying. This guy is called First Time and it's one of the matte shades. It's a beautiful, peachy nude. The Tom Ford mattes are like my ideal matte, I gotta say. They're very hydrating, they're not drying at all, and they still give the lips a little bit, a little bit of a shine. I'm gonna be keeping that shade. Blush Nude is my ultimate, ultimate favorite lipstick from this collection. I actually remember buying this, losing it, and then having to get another one, and it was very, very upsetting. Like, I know you're probably thinking, Jamie, you have 30,000 that look exactly like that, and I know, but there's something about the color and the combination with this formula that is just so flattering on the lips, and it, it just makes your lips look incredible. Indian Rose is just sort of like a deeper, more mauve nude. I'm gonna get rid of this one. I think my mom will actually really enjoy this color. Then we have Casablanca which is another more matte shade and it's just like a deeper nude. I'm gonna get rid of this one. And then lastly, we have Black Dahlia, which is a deep, deep dark shade. I actually do not like this one. Um, I just feel like it's a little bit patchy. I would just never go towards this color in this formula. I have these two super random Bobbi Brown lip colors here. This is called the Crushed Lip Color. The pink one is called Bits In, the red one is called Punch. They're sheer and buildable and I'm definitely gonna be keeping both because you guys know that's like my favorite type of formula at the moment. I just think they're so flattering and so easy to wear. And I love these brighter shades, especially for the spring and summer. This is an eyeshadow. I don't know why this is here, so I'm gonna just put that aside. The last product here is a lipstick from YSL. This is called the, the Slim Lipstick in number 21. And it is a bright red shade. Let's swatch it. I've actually never tried this formula before. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm gonna keep this because I'm very curious about this formula. I haven't tried it yet, but it feels so creamy and opaque, and I love the finish. It's matte, but it's, again, feels like a comfort matte. So I think I'm actually gonna really enjoy this. I feel like that was semi-successful, not the best decluttering I've done, but also not too bad. You guys, I'm so exhausted right now. <laughs> that took me two and a half hours to go through three bins. This is, do I need a fourth part to this series? I am going to do definitely a third part to the series. I'm thinking in the next one, I may do things a little bit speedier. I'm not gonna go through each and every lip product. Or do you guys want me to go through each and every lip product? I don't know. I feel like you guys do really like that part of the declutters, but that is what you know makes it take such a long time. So let me know what you'd rather see. Anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this declutter. I hope that it was entertaining for you. Don't forget to let me know all of your thoughts down below. Of course, also give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you are not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.